Morning guys and girls, uh, today we're going to be talking about another one of the uh, what's in the tackle bag kind of combos. Today we're talking about my favorite combo, the easiest one to use for pretty much everything. Covers your fish from your bronze bream all the way up to the small inedibles. Um, and we've actually targeted a few of the bigger inedibles with this and you actually are fine with it. Um, so first let's start off with the rod. The one that probably everyone, if you've come into the store, have been told about or if you fished with us, you've heard about it. Almost everyone in the shop owns one. The Saltus 3 to 5 grinder. It's the STT 12, what's the 1363 MLS? Um, for the guys looking, Fuji thing, high volume fiber, just a beautiful stick for everything, all Fuji components. Very, very light stick. You, it says 3 to 5, you can throw from a 2 ounce all the way up to a 5. Uh, once you get over that 5 ounce, you're really, really pushing the rod. It's not really designed for anything heavier than that. So a five ounce with a small bait you can still manage. So if you do need to push it a little bit further, you, you can do fine with that. Um, now, the interesting aspect, the reels. Got three grinders here in front of us, all the 5,000 size. Starting at the BG5, then doing the new, brand new BG Mag Seal 5,000, then onto the Solstice 5,000. Now, in terms of jumps, in price-wise, you're looking at obviously cheapest, in between, most expensive. Then we go on to the Saltigas, but that's a different different sort of zone, more in the elite kind of side of things. Now, you're onto all of these. I'm loading exactly the same line. Dawa j 30 pound. Now you'll get, of the 30, you're gonna get 600 meters onto here. So that's more than enough to stop pretty much anything. Uh, the big benefit about this, abrasive resistance, casts a mile, nice and thin. Um, for its braking strain, it says 30 pound on the packaging, but like the rest of the Dawa braid, braking well over that. Um, that's the braid we're going to go on to there. Now, when it comes to choosing the reels, if you're doing mainly edible fishing, the BG5 is going to cover that completely. And it will even do up to the smaller inedibles. So, each one of these reels will fill the purpose beautifully. It really just depends on the pocket. Unfortunately, in the financial times we're in, that's kind of what it comes down to. So, what happens here is you go from uh, the normal BG, basic features, but it's got a hell of a strong drag, very perf a perfect line lane, nice big handle, easy to grip onto. Then you move up to the BG Mag Seal. Now, Andre's done a video of all the features of the Mag Seal versus the Saltist and the BG, so have a look at that video. It will be, I might put it in the description onto this one. Um, but also seven ball bearings in there. The big benefit of this guy, just the short benefit, it's got a much better drag knob on the top. It's got a 360 degree thread on the main shaft. It's got a thicker main shaft. And talk of the town, mag seal. Now the mag seal bearing stops any water intrusion into the actual main case that you've got in here. So the gearing and stuff on these is all much for muchness, just with better features as you go up in the range. So. My setup, I have this rod, I have the braid, I've got the BG5, that's I use in winter when you're fishing for your cob, fishing for your stumpies, your bronze bream. Then when it comes to summertime, I switch over and use the Saltist 5. Now, the Saltist just in case, because I'm probably going to be using this more for targeting your grey sharks, your if you're fishing here in the basin in Durban, for the flatfish, for blue skates, for brown skates, it'll handle honeys. The, the biggest honey I know of on this setup with 30 pound braid is about 60 kilos, so that's a big fish, but you'll handle them with ease of this. Then if it comes to you not wanting to have two reels, two separate things like that, then having just the one would be the BG Mag Seal or the Saltist, if you're wanting to do both aspects, so hitting summer hard as well as doing the winter fishing. So yeah guys, that's the, the what's in the tackle box, a lovely little combo. If it comes down to you needing just one combo to do everything, this is gonna be a nice light stick. You can do the summer fishing, you can do the winter fishing. Um, also a lovely combo for lighties wanting to get into the sport. So if your kid's about 13 years old, they're about able to hold a bigger stick, um, not wanting to still scratch around, wanting to target the bigger fish. This is an absolutely perfect setup for him. As well as if your wife is wanting to get into fishing, um, to show that uh, you actually are going fishing and not just uh, spending time away from her. You can get her a little combo. It's a bit of a price spend, but it's worth uh, the lack of moaning. And the reel like this, rod combo, nice and light. You can target anything. It's not too heavy on the arms. Um, and this rod throws like an absolute dream. 
put a four ounce on here and put a base squid or something like that, you will throw it over the horizon. So yeah, little combo, bit of food for thought, a lot of options. You're not limited to one reel, one rod. Um, the rod is set, unfortunately, that is a, a no, no, no change and there's absolutely no reason to change. But you've got three reels, you can choose whichever suits the pocket um, and go with that. Very similar features across the board, obviously just improving as you go up. So you're putting turbos on and uh, free flow exhaust and things like that. So yeah, that's the little combo today. It's the uh, three to five ounce and then whichever reel you're choosing with the 30 pound J braid. So come to the store or in any of your retail, uh, leading retail shops and you'll be able to get this, get this combo set up. Cheers.